Hey everybody, welcome back. I, um, I decided to start this series because I want to get into the habit of recording every day. So I figured I would call it a journal for now rather than call it a daily or even a weekly. I mean, I can't promise anything. I'm just going to give it a shot. So um, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to give um, a reading for the collective that I'll put at the beginning of every video. And, uh, and also to talk a little bit about the astrology that we have. Basically, um, the way I'm building my channel is so that you watch the monthly first and theoretically that stays relevant to you throughout the month that you can keep going back to in terms of the astrology that I've put at the top. And then uh, with the journals and with other uh, astrological event specific readings, um, you know, we'll, we'll be carrying the theme uh, through the month. So what do we have today and this week to think about? Um, this, uh, this particular journal is for May 11th, 2020. And so I'm recording this on the 10th and today, uh, Saturn goes retrograde in Aquarius. So these themes are going to be around the brotherhood, perhaps even, um, you know, a good look, you know, a review of what it is we think that the age of Aquarius is supposed to be and what it will actually become or what it's becoming. Um, so that's Mar May 10th. Now, uh, May 12th and 13th, that is when Venus goes stationary retrograde in Gemini. So it's going to be all about love relationships, but it's also going to be very about, very much about Gemini themes of communication um, and almost, you know, like an extra push with Mercury being Gemini's ruler in terms of the dynamics around, uh, around what this retrograde season is going to be like. So that's two planets um, that are just happening this week. Uh, the other thing that we have to also be ready for is on May 16th, which is this Sunday, I believe, um, we have, uh, our sun aligning with Alcyon, the galactic center. So, um, as I said in the monthly, uh, report that, um, this is going to be, we're going to be flooded with divine feminine energies and it's going to be intense, I would imagine. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be interesting how this is going to be reflected in world events as much as uh, in our own personal lives. So be prepared. <laughs> uh, it's fair warning to you. I wouldn't necessarily say that, that we could blame um, Alcyon for everything. But, uh, you know, if things seem pretty intense starting this Sunday, uh, it's going to be like a four-day gate. Um, so as we get closer to it, uh, we'll focus a little bit more on what that means for us generally in terms of energies and whatnot. So I think I'm just going to move forward and grab uh, the Rider weight to pull one card. That's it. Just one card from Rider weight, And then I'm going to do a Lenormand and a Marsha McLuhan, a distant early warning deck. So um, let's see the sorts of things that we're going to be focusing on today, May 11th. Hmm, the Five of Cups. So, um, you know, it was funny because I was reading an article from a psychologist that most of us are heading into, um, you know, psychologically, uh, statistically wise. Uh, the hardest time um, in terms of being isolated uh, and quarantined and sequestered uh, from society, from social interaction. Um, so if you're feeling emotional this week, if you're grieving things that, I don't know, maybe you even thought you were intellectually over, uh, it would be, you know, with all the retrogrades, 
you know, it, it'll be about feeling and also about communicating and sharing those feelings, um, you know, on a community level, on a one-to-one, -one, and, uh, you know, we're likely to see more stories in the news uh, in the coming days about uh, people in their struggles with loneliness and isolation. So that's definitely something to be thinking about. Um, you know, uh, I've been trying to emphasize in most of my readings how important self-care is right now for all of us. Um, it really is a time for making sure that everything's okay. So if things are not okay, you know, it's uh, probably not a bad idea this week to reach out for some help. So... Let's see here what the Lenormand has to say. Hmm. Well, this is really nice. This is the lily. It's a beautiful card. Look at that. So um, the lily suggests um, maturity, you know, um, growing in understanding, you know, um, there's an emotional intelligence emerging if you're if you're willing to reach for it, um, you know, out of all the sadness, out of all the, um, the loneliness and whatnot, you know, that, um, that at times like these, it's, it's really important that we sincerely enjoy our own company. And if we're not enjoying our own company, it's not because we're not interesting enough or, um, uh, or smart enough or you know any of the things that makes us feel less than um, you know it, it it really is a time to to see you know how resilient and how uh, how wonderful the human spirit really is in times like these and uh, you know um, a good way to to distract yourself from your own sadness is to reach out to someone else and check in on them uh, or find a way to contribute to something that's taking care of people, whether it be some sort of charity um, or outreach program, um, you know, depending on how, on how much our isolation is legislated. Uh, you know, I think that it's gonna be really important for there to be, um, real uh, tangible support for uh, those who are struggling with mental health issues. So I'm going to move on to Marshall McLuhan's Distant Early Warning Deck and see what kind of insight we can get from Marshall. Marshall has, uh, has really uh, helped me to understand the way media works on individuals and society and how important it is to be conscious of the kinds of media that you consume. So let's see what, you know, pearl of wisdom Marshall is giving us today. Hmm, okay. So the silicone bosom symbolizes the thin edge of the trial balloon. So whatever that means for you, I mean, for me, I'm looking at it as being, you know, representative of the digital age and how, uh, you know, the thin edge of the wedge <laughs> of how technology works for us and can work against us um, is a fascinating subject to explore. <laughs> so um, thank you for joining me today with my first installment of a journal uh, Bon Echo's Tarot Journal I think I'm calling it yeah so uh, now on to your sign specific reading hey Taurus and welcome to Bon Echo's Journal I'll try to do this every day, okay? Just quick, shorty, but profound things for you to think about today. All right, so 
Well, what do we have from the tarot? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a good one. Ace of Wands. So, new ideas, new passions, uh, new inspiration. Um, lighten a fire under your ass. How about that? So, um, yeah, this is a great card. So, be inspired today, you know? And if the people around you aren't, you know, as happy or ready to do their thing like you are, that's okay. You just keep on being you. So let's, uh, let's see what sort of symbolism the Lenormand has for you today on May 11th. I guess I should have said that. May 11th. But, you know, I put the titles on after, so the title beat me to it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ah, look at that. Taurus, you've got the same as the collective. This is the lily. So, um... What did I say? Uh, <laughs> uh, more maturity emotionally. Your emotional IQ is definitely increasing. So, um, you know, uh, you can probably, um, you're probably feeling strong enough to maybe support others who are not feeling quite as stable as you are. Wow, with Uranus in your sign and you're feeling stable, good for you. Yeah. All right, so what does Marshall have to say for Taurus for May 11th? Ha! <laughs> well, you know, it was Mother's Day yesterday. Thanks for the memories. So... Hopefully you were good to your mom. And so, yeah, I think that's about it for you, Taurus, for today. So, uh, see you next time.